Alright guys, so we are here with West Kiss Hair. I'm going to apologize if y'all hear it thunder because it is thunder and while I'm doing this voiceover. But we're going to quickly unbox her and then we're going to get right into the video. So this is the beauty unboxed freshly and as you guys can see it has a lot of luster and shine and body. Um, this is their deep wave hair. It's a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. It's the lace frontal y'all. She's 26 in inches and the density is 180%. So this is the overall construction. It has three combs in total. It has a pair of drawstrings. And as you guys can see, this uh, the lace is transparent as mentioned prior. So let's get into this lace. West Kiss. West Kiss. Y'all got to give them an applause because look at this. Look at this hairline. They went in and plugged it. They almost stole my entire life. They almost took me out of here because I could not believe how flat, flawless and realistic this hairline looks if you guys hate plucking units this is a unit you need in life this is a must-have like i've never had a unit that it looked that good where i didn't even have to step in and do anything because they already made it like all right guys so this is how the install looked like once i completed it this was the first install and as you guys can see this this little freaking ball. I don't know what I said, but the hairline is a little ashy and it just doesn't look well blended at all. So, yeah, we're we going to fix that. Just stay tuned. So, fast forward to a week later. I have been wearing this hair um for a week and she is still looking popping um she's freshly co-washed also has this new co-washing product that i used on her and i let her air dry and this is how she looked in the day you know i'm applying it so we can go ahead and get ready for our install and today i'm using my got to be glue high insta hold when i'm looking for a you know a hold that's gonna hold me down without using like any type of adhesive i always grab this because this it will you know it will get you right so i do have my dryer on a cool heating setting and once it is tacky we're gonna go ahead and pull that lace forward and we're gonna my new method is when you pull it forward you just pull both of the sides tight so it's laying nice and flat like i said this is my second install so i may go in and customize the lace and cut off you know things i don't like because you know you just you just change but we will go ahead and secure it So I did forget to mention that off camera, I did went ahead and added some foundation to uh, the underneath, well, the foundation <laughs> underneath my lace instead of um, bleaching and tinting the lots, the knots. Um, it's just easier for me and I just don't like doing extra work. Whatever I don't have to do, you know, to make my wig installation time quicker, that's what I do. And I feel like foundation method is just really the plug. So as you guys can see, I'm making sure the lace is, you know, stuck down on my forehead. I'm just rotating between the teeth of my comb and the tail end of the comb as well, just to make sure it's laid nice and flat. Be sure that you're pulling it as tight as you can so it can lay flat. You don't want no air pockets, no air bubbles. You don't want to look like you got ripples in the front of your laces because it's not cute. So you just want to make sure it is flat as possible. So as you guys can see, I'm just cutting off the excess lace that I don't like or don't need. Um, also, a subby recommended to me like a year ago, y'all. Why am I just now doing this? And I seen, I just went through my comments and seen that was posted a year ago. And I'm blending out the hairline with the foundation, with a foundation, but it's my contour shade. Y'all know I love to contour. And I never wipe it off my forehead when I'm putting it on my hairline. So that could have been why I was always getting that ashy white line. Also, I noticed I couldn't um, 
I probably wasn't putting enough foundation underneath the lace either. So that all could have went hand in hand. But I love using a foundation or a powder shade that is um, um, a shade or two darker than my skin complexion because it just melts and blends better. And y'all can't tell me this don't low ball, okay? But I'm just spraying some of that got to be glue spray on the teeth of the comb and just pushing it back. This is what I want to do when I don't feel like you bringing out my hot comb. It still looks like, you know, you hot comb and laid it, but you didn't. But we're going to go ahead and tire down for a few minutes and add hot heat and then we'll reveal it. Okay, but look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. It's seamlessly, but y'all, I'm about to tell on myself. Y'all see that part right there? Um, I don't put foundation all on my unit. I don't know why. I just put it on the, you know, edge of it. So as you guys can see, um, don't do that. <laughs> But anyway, um, it, especially if you're parting it, it'd just be easier to um, use, uh, put foundation over the entire lace. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, but um, I'm just going to go in and, you know, just make the part pop a bit. I noticed that this to me now, I just feel like it looks fake. It looks... It looks too bright, so I'm just going to go in and wipe away a lot of it just so it can blend better with the melts. But I'm just taking a... Um, makeup remover and just wiping off all that excess and like i said i'm just gonna blend it in so it all look natural but y'all can't even tell me that this is not my hair because where is the line like i know y'all can see it but y'all know it's not as visible as i normally do with my insults so i'm super excited that i found that comment a whole year later i don't know why i didn't think of it but sis the this looks freaking flawless i don't care <laughs> now I'm just going in to do my curly hair routine and I'm telling you guys with this unit I just never it was just crazy how I didn't have to use a bunch of products for the curls to just look as popping as they did like I said this is freshly co-washed hair and I'm just spraying it a little bit with some water and um as I was doing my curly hair routine of course I was getting shedding it wasn't a lot but I was getting shedding um, I wasn't getting any tangling with it, and I haven't gotten any tanglings for the entire week that I wore this, but um, I did receive shedding. But like I said, it's a minimum. It's not coming out in clumps and nothing like that because it's nobody likes that but um i was just amazed that i didn't have to use as many products i only used water and my frizz product from oski and this is how the hair turns out y'all so this is some freaking amazing hair like i said i've worn it for a week and i know this ends and out i've been out with it um like i said um, I didn't experience any tangling with it. It, it. This is just some bomb curly hair. And this is a product that I was telling you guys. This is the only two products I used on the hair um, within the week that I've worn. It. And I, I just, I just, not, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but I just never had any curly hair that it just works as easy and seamlessly. I'm super obsessed. Okay. I'm really obsessed. So let me stop talking because I talk. And like I said, this is just my curly hair routine for this unit. This is the only unit you're going to get away with only putting two products on it and looking bomb.com. So um, yeah, I do go in and diffuse it later, um, but I used a cool heating setting to diffuse it. Like I said, I don't really like the frizzy uh, look, so I do tear away from, you know, using all that hot heat. But like I said, this is the only unit that I've experienced so far that you only have to use two products on it and it looks that bomb. So that is pretty much. Let me know what you guys think of this new method of me melting my lace because I feel like I found I finally found the plug like like sis. I put a lot of foundation under there and I also used a shade or two darker than my skin tone to have it blend. And it looks freaking amazing. On cur, on cur, on cur. So yeah all information in regards to this unit will be listed down below especially the products that i use like i said it was minimum to none but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed again let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and until next time you girl we'll see you later bye guys